Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. Let's see what's haunting the dorms at our campus. Let's see what uh, Agnes has anything to say about this. Doesn't look like anything's going on here. Well, what do you know about this? Ghosts and everything. Well, ghosts, I guess. Or something's going on here. Oh, kill it. Oh, a friend. Y yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, well, what did she do? Well, how do you do that? I mean, sword, just go right through the guy. Maybe try setting them on fire? Oh, okay. Well, fortunately, we have some of those. By the way, the raise spell, or even a Phoenix Down that could kill them? Uh, what is... Yeah, it has a 70% chance of, well, essentially being instant death to them. But I prefer to use Cure because it's more reliable. But there might be some situations where I need to instantly kill them. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's why we've got all the balsams and everything that I bought earlier there, just in case. Although Dread is a temporary status ailment. But uh, yeah, if you have more than one BP, I think, or maybe it's zero, whatever it is, it'll remove your BP there, bring you down to one or zero, whatever it is. But that will never happen, so... I wouldn't worry about it. I'm never going to have enough BP for that to matter. But yeah, yeah, we already got the balsam and everything. Well, yeah, that too. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Let's see. Where'd the dorm mother go? She's always around here. So what's behind the place? A secret passage. Well, sure. Let's go check it out. To the final dungeon in the demo. Let's see what we got around here. Try to clear a little bit of the map there. Just hidden room. That's the best name you could come up with for a dungeon. Again. Well, in any case, let's see. So we got the Power Bracers, and I want to give them to Magnolia because they boost your strength stat, which would be useless to Nikolai since his damage is derived from dexterity, not strength. Although physical attack power does help damage, but not strength, even though strength boosts your physical attack power, but not for, like, damage for, with these kind of weapons. And besides, Magnolia has plenty of defense without the gauntlets anyway. So let's take a look around for some treasure. And fight a whole bunch of new enemies here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, Dolahan and Ghosts. Both of them are undead monsters. So, I would like to cast Cure to kill them. So, let's see. Let's go with the Gale Staff. It's got a pretty good mind stat on it. And then, let's see. Let's go Double Cure. View foes. Let's go Double Cure on the Ghosts. The Evil Idol is not undead. So, I don't want to use Cure on all enemies. And then, get a couple on the Dullahan there. Let's see, you, why don't we have you def or default for now, or defend, either or. Okay, so with Jan, let's go with Examine on the Evil Idol. They have pretty good physical and magic defense, so Jan is my best physical attacker. I think he'll do a pretty good job on them. Oh, uh, yeah, get all physical attacks going there. And then let's see, with... Magnolia. Okay, I don't have miscellany there. So, let me see what I got. Let's go magnifying glass on the undead enemy, since she's 
probably going to be a lot faster than Nikolai. And then let's go... Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with Crescent Moon on them. I was thinking about using uh, a different attack there. But I think this will do just fine. Curse reduces your physical and attack and defense. So be careful about that. But yeah, they're weak to light elemental damage there. Or cure, in this case. Ghosts are also weak to fire. Get a bit of damage that way. Okay, good. We got all the examines in right away. Now, even though Evil Idol is susceptible to wind, I never really use it on them. It doesn't seem to deal that much damage. Oh, huh. I guess that's because the first two were targeting the ghosts and they just auto-targeted to us or something. But we got them all. Hooray! Let's see what else we got around here. Ghosts! So if I need to use magical damage to kill evil idols, I would actually use wizard magic rather than... Uh, like arrow or something that doesn't seem to damage them too much so let's go with quadruple heat on them although hold on a sec yeah let's uh equip the other wizard's rod this should be able to kill all of them so let's see with evil idols they can inflict uh the doom status on you or countdown until it would eventually kill you there let's see ghosts can put you to sleep as well as inflict the dread status on you yeah there's doom and yeah they also have dark elemental damage on us which deal or which hurts you a lot okay there we go we got a full charge going on these guys yeah got them all uh, no no get out of there that, that, that's enough I don't mean to be overly rambunctious here. We'll be good. Okay. Man, we also got all those examines out of the way. Those are all the new enemies, by the way, though. There's a, there's a little more to them yet. But uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. Since we've gotten all of the examines out of the way, let's equip some black and white magic. Except on Magnolia, because I want I actually want her to have shamanism for certain battles or certain enemies. So let's see what else we got. Okay, so let's go. Man, we all took a beating there. Alright, very nice. Yeah, I, I like having Jan do the healing because I don't have him use his MP very often. And over here we get the Dark Shield, which cuts dark elemental damage in half, if I recall correctly. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, and it's a little stronger than the other shields on physical defense. I think they'll just leave the weapons alone on Nikolai, but not you. He'll probably, uh, oh, what is it? He might need the defense there. But, uh, okay, so since we got all the new enemies, I think I'm just gonna walk out of here real quick to save after getting all those examines in or we could fight another battle why not now with uh thanatos or no with golahan they have an attack called terror Ch uh, which inflicts the dread status on you and they also have another attack called thanatophobia which kills any target that is already afflicted with the dread status. So, so you want to watch out for getting afflicted with dread. That's why you got balsams there. But if you cure it, then yeah, phantophobia won't do anything to you. Can't just turn up the heat a little. It has to be terror sweat. But otherwise, yeah, let's get out of here. I don't think I'm going to rest up at the end, especially since I'd have to wait until uh, daytime or nighttime all over again. 
Yeah, for some reason, they don't let you in there during the daytime. Seems oddly specific, but okay. I mean, I guess, you know, ghosts and everything, but there's no day or night in dungeons. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, we took a little bit of damage there. That ought to be good enough. Yeah, I'd really rather not. I got a little lucky with those examines as well. Being able to get all of them in one battle like that. And before Nikolai started killing them or bringing them back to life or whatever. But yeah, now let's uh, get back in there and clear the rest of the treasure. There's also another enemy formation that I don't think we've seen yet around here. But it's still, you know, same enemies and stuff. Yeah, I just want to clear this out of my map a little bit there. Alright, and yeah, so we got, yeah, four evil idols there. So this time, I don't want to use arrow. That doesn't really deal a lot of damage to them. So what I'm going to do instead is let's go with dual wizard's rods. And then use whatever elemental spell you want. Why don't we go with uh, lightning on these guys? And then let's see you. Let's have you just default for now. Let's see with Jan. Maybe I can get a couple sidewinders going. With Magnolia. Yeah, let's go with double crescent moon. And that ought to be good. Another thing you could do against these guys is use, I think it's Harpoon. That makes your physical attacks ignore defense. And that could be useful in certain situations against evil idols. But I didn't, uh, what is it? Yeah, not here. But now that we've got that extra BP, it might be useful here. Kind of odd, I'm switching my weapons between Nikolai and you like that. Or like this. But, uh, okay, so let's see. Yeah, just go four cures on all of them. That should do the job. Let's see, why don't you just default for now and see what else happens. Okay, I think we'll be able to... Oh, yeah, we'll get him. There you go. Hmm. If I weren't at, like, nearly max HP for everyone, I would probably... Yeah, I would probably recommend actually just stopping there, but in this case, I think we'll be okay, actually. Okay, so I definitely need to kill the Dullahan there. And I could go with three Sidewinders if I really wanted. But, how about we do something else? Let's see. So yeah, Dullahan is one of the very few in the game that has more physical than magical defense. It's, okay, so let's do this. A little different here. Let's go with Harpoon to ignore physical defense. Then we'll go two Sidewinders and a regular physical attack to finish off the Dullahan if necessary. And if that's not enough, then we have Nikolai who could maybe finish him off. Whoa! Breaking the frame rate there, Jan. Yeah! Multitask for the win! Woohoo! <laughs> I think that's a 25% chance for that to work out that way. <laughs> All right. Very nice. And we're doing pretty well on levels here. Okay, but yeah, we did take quite a bit of damage there. Or, okay, we didn't, but just a reflex. Usually, I take a lot of damage from every fight around here. I mean, the frame rate's crapping out on me. 
Come on. Okay. Let's get you back on your rod of fire and a gale staff. Okay, we got all that going. Let's get a little more treasure around here. Including one that's pretty important. The Raikiri Katana there. And let's see, with that one, I am going to be using it eventually. Not right away, but it's not only is it lightning elemental, but it also absorbs all lightning elemental damage. Although, I don't know that that would really be remotely useful in a demo, but it's available, and I will be using that eventually. Let's see, there's nothing up there, but yeah, just clear a little bit of the map. I almost made it to the chest there before the battle. But here we get the ultimate sword in the demo, the Flame Tongue. Which is, well, fire elemental. But not really useful at this point with my job classes anyway. Oh well. Alright, and after that battle, we can get the final chest. The Roncon? Roncon? Rakane? I don't know. Rigatoni? But in any case, yeah, I want to get the ultimate spear for Magnolia. So let's see. Nothing really special about it. Just stronger. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, a little more attack power. Not very much, though. But, uh, okay, so I've cleared most of the area now. And, well, if you see on the map, it's a, where we got to go is in the southwest corner there. But, as you can see... We're pretty low on MP, or we're getting there. So I want to actually walk out to, uh, what is it, finish off a level there, rest up at the end, wait for it to be nighttime, and I'll just meet you guys back at the adventurer there off screen once I've taken care of all of my business. Okay, we made it back out side in nighttime already rested up at the end but i do need to change my setup for uh, upcoming events so as usual let's make nikolai into the astrologian with the singing secondary command there let's see support abilities i believe stay the same there let's see with you i don't think i need to change anything nope you're good let's see with uh jan yeah i want to have uh miss lanny on him and let's see support abilities are the same magnolia is where i'm going to make the big change i want to make her into a sword master which will be very useful coming up here and then let's see make sure you've got shamanism or no no not shamanism uh what is it nikolai has, or no jan has that and uh let's see okay so we got yeah i want to have miscellany their abilities are the same though i will need to change my setup or equipment a little bit here let's see you're good let's see with you i'm going to start with the round shield but equip dual rods eventually too and then let's see for jan everything is the same for magnolia let's equip the raikiri that we picked up, mostly because it's lightning elemental, which will be useful coming up here. But otherwise, I think everything else stays the same. We're all at, well, at least full HP, not quite MP, but that'll be okay. Yeah, I'll just leave Nikolai alone there. Oh, yeah. I also want to turn down the encounter rate, because unfortunately, as you could see, there is not a save point near the very end of the place. So, I'd rather... Like, that's also partially why I walked my way out, so that way I could fight the enemies there that I would otherwise be fighting on the way in. And I want to save before getting to the end of the place for the ease of recording and potentially redoing, because this is going to be the toughest part of the demo by far. But now that we've gotten all the treasure cleared out of the place, and the encounter rate is gone, it'll be pretty easy to get to the end again there. Yeah, they got a lot of dead ends in this place, despite all the uh, treasures around here. But the map on the bottom screen makes everything easy enough. 
So, what's going on here? What's going on? You? Ah, get off already, you. I can barely breathe with you hanging on to me like that. What do you mean? Okay, don't say that. Master Yu, there are four of us here. You have no need to be so afraid. What are you afraid of anyway? The truth? I'm not afraid. You have completely misread the situation, Sir Nikolai. Oh, okay. You? Whatever is the matter? You didn't know? This guy's totally fearless, except when it comes to heights and ghosts and, well, everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I love us. I had no idea. He's normally so fearless when it comes to bodily harm. <laughs> I wish you would all stop blowing it out of proportion. I'm just a little uneasy. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> would you like me to hold your hand? Yes. Would, would you? I mean, that will not be necessary. <laughs> uh oh. Aren't you all so full of life? I know that laugh. <laughs> Who goes there? Whoa. Freak. What's that stench? Is that blood? This guy might be trouble. Well, I would think we would all know the stench of blood by this point. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. You may call me Geist. Are you an undead? <laughs> the blood salt exorcist. Geist the bloody. <laughs> Well, you're not doing a very good job with all the ghosts down here. I was looking for some professor. An entirely boring task. Oh. But now, I've found some new quarry. How stimulating. What do you mean, quarry? <laughs> quarry? Wait, y you mean us? Are you the one who's haunting the dorms? I mean, he's got the evil laugh. Shall we begin the night's entertainment? It is going to be a fine eve. But can we defeat possibly the hardest boss in the demo? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day. <laughs>